Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My name is Quentin Robinson, founder of iDispatch. And uh, what I wanted to go over with you guys tonight is how to go get your LLC, okay? Uh, you could also go to the uh, link below and you can go get a lot of free things there. Uh, we give away a lot of free information there uh, to where you're able to get a weekly newsletter or a weekly magazine or whatever uh, that'll be able to come out to you. We're giving away a lot of stuff on the uh, website, uh, idispatch.org. So what we're gonna get into is how to go get your business together, right? what you need for you to be able to go and get your business together all right now first things first um how do i change this thing there we go all right so what you need for you to get your business started you're going to need an llc you're going to need an ein you're going to need a duns number you're going to need a business phone number a website a company computer printer and most importantly you're going to need that self-motivation if you are not motivated this is definitely not something that you want to do uh rather we're talking about chucking or we're talking about just in regular business world because no one's going to be waking you up telling you what time you need to get up no one's going to be writing you up you're just not going to have any business all right now um where do you go apply for your business now you're going to go online you're going to find the secretary of state for your state okay so you're going to get that phone number you're going to call and you're going to find out how to navigate the website completing the articles of organization now uh articles of organization is the actual document that you're going to need all right now there's a fee that differs from state to state so consult with your office about those particular details now what is a registered agent a registered agent is simply a person or entity appointed uh to accept the service a process of official mail on the business behalf all right so therefore at that point of that in some states you're able to put yourself other states you're gonna uh you're able to put the business as well all right so evaluate how you would like to scale uh that business would tell you exactly how you want to structure that business okay so whether that's doing an LLC or is doing a sole proprietorship or C Corp, whatever. All right. Now, where do you go apply for your EIN? Now, what is an EIN, right? An EIN is simply um, your social security number. Social security number for your business. All right. So it's called an EIN, an employer identification number. Now, what form you should get from them is called a SS4 form, okay? Now, a SS4. Now, you could apply online by mail or by fax. You could also apply by telephone if your organization was formed outside of the U.S. territories, all right, uh, or the U.S. Okay. Now, most companies try to charge potential business owners to get an EIN. <clears throat> I'm not going to say any names, but uh, however, payment for one is unnecessary, man. You could go directly to the IRS.gov, right, and uh, go get that uh EIN okay but you want to do that after you got your stuff structured okay now you get in your articles of organization it's going to cost you some money but going to get your EIN is going to be absolutely free please 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 go get your stuff done in the right order all right now where do you go apply for Dunn's number right Dunn's numbers are really really dope okay when you get your Dunn's number you're able to do some really cool stuff with that now business entities may request a duns number by calling that number right there right and you could tell the operator that you're applying for the financial um the federal financial assistance program you need to register for a duns number i didn't even do all that to be honest with you what i did was i went online and i just went and found it right so when i got online i just was like okay well you know what i'm gonna just do uh my duns number online and uh i got it all right so anyone uh, can go to the reporting agencies and look at look up your business credit score all right though they may have to pay to do so several business credit reporting agencies track business credit scores uh three of the major ones are Dun and bradstreet equifax business and experian business 
the fee for Dunn's number is also free, okay? So if you call, you apply for yourself, or you go online, you apply for yourself, it's free. All right, now, uh, this is something that you should do after getting your company organized, right? Getting it structured. And then after getting your EIN. So structure, EIN, Dunn's number, all right? Now, you will need a, to get a Dunn's number to get a business credit uh, signal. Now, you can go get that after getting a Dunn's number. So you can go to companies such as Uline, Ranger, Best Buy, Sam's Club, Floor Decor, um, Costco's. You can go to places like that and get a net 30. Now, where do what is a net 30? All right. Now, net 30 is where. Uh, you can order products for your business and pay it off in 30 days. Now, that might be a net seven. It might be a net 60. might be a net 30. might be a net 90. Whatever it is, that last number is when you need to have that joint paid for. All right. Now, doing this, excuse me, doing this consistency uh, can boost your, consistently can boost your, your business, right? So it can boost the score. Now, resulting in you being able to go get those net 30 gas cards resulting in you being able to have that that credit signal for you to go get the phones or whatever that you want to go get on your net 30 all right so definitely definitely something that you want to go get you're also going to want to go get your business banking account business banking account not a personal account acting as a as a business banking account but a real business banking account all right now the documents that you're going to need is an ein number also known as your employer identification number your articles of organization and your two forms of id and in some cases your deposit some uh places that actually open your your business thing without all of that all right all right now what else you need now do you absolutely have to have this you don't okay but it's really good for you to be able to have that website. All right. Whenever you have that website, that's a form of, of, of branding. OK, a form of marketing yourself. So if you need help with that, you know, you can reach out to me and uh, I can help you out with getting your website designed for you. All right. Now, on that note, man, I really appreciate you all coming to uh, tonight's free training which was how to go get your business structured. Y'all have a good one.